First of all, the Barzakh life is a life which is a barrier, which has a barrier between this world that we live in and a world that is unexplainable to us. You can't understand it. It is a life of a certain type with its own with its own with its own own reality and it is nothing like this world and it is not the here after the day of judgment nor is it this world it is somewhere in between Allah says in the Quran بَيْنَهُمَا بَرْزَخُ لَا يبغيان, about the two oceans that meet in this life it says between them there is a barrier the two seas do not mix so this, this we use the word barzakh and the same word is used for that life after here before the day of judgment Allah says in the Quran and behind them after them meaning after you die there is a barzakh world until the day you are resurrected this points out to us that there is a life barrier that does not mix with this life and does not mix with the day of judgment but in a verse it talks about not mixing particularly between the life after death and this world that you're living you can't mix you don't know what's happening to them they don't know what's happening to you and you cannot understand them when you are dead you understand what's happened though it's a barzakh, a barrier between this life and the next the, when you're dead before the day of resurrection this barzakh world my dear brothers and sisters in Islam as soon as you die the soul begins to experience the barzakh world if you want me to give you a slight example if you want to get it closer to your minds in a very slight example but it's not exactly like that consider dreams when you're asleep your body is in the room and everyone can see your body witness your body touch your body hear you but your soul is doing something different seeing something different hearing something different isn't that right it's in a different place don't even know where you are sometimes or often but your body is there to the living person the person who is awake all I can tell you is I see a body that's sleeping <coughs> But you're in a whole different world. Some people are sleeping, they don't even know that they're sleeping. They think it's reality. And some people know that they're sleeping when they're dreaming. Have you ever experienced that? You know you're asleep. So the Barzakh world is similar to when your soul goes out when you're asleep. Similar. You don't require oxygen. Have you ever seen yourself in your dream underwater? And you're talking? <laughs> Okay, sometimes it's a result of the brain, we know that. But also the soul does go to places where do, the soul doesn't need to survive on what use your body survives. The body survives on food and oxygen, but the soul doesn't. So if you can understand dreams, you can understand the barzakh. As for me, I don't think anybody understands the phenomena of dreams and the way the soul comes out when you're asleep. And similarly, we cannot comprehend the barzakh world. This barzakh world, my dear brothers and sisters, is a temporary station between here and the hereafter, the day of judgment. In this temporary barzakh world, a person is able to find out if they are going to heaven or hell. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ says, إِنَّ الْقَبْرَ أَوَّلُ مَنَازِلِ الْآخِرَةِ فَإِن نَجَى مِنْهُ أَحَدْ فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَيْسَرَ مِنْهُ وَإِن لَمْ يَنْجُ مِنْهُ فَمَا بَعْدَهُ أَشَدَّ مِنْهُ the grave is the first part of the hereafter, of the day of judgment. If he or she is saved from the punishments and torments of the grave, then whatever is after it is going to be better and easier. He'll be saved from more bigger things. If he is not saved from the torments and punishments of the grave, then whatever is going to come after that is going to be worse. And we mentioned last week, that a believer, when he sees his place in Jannah, when the angels show him in paradise, in, in the grave, he says, oh my Lord, let the last hour come. I want to go to Jannah. And the disbeliever says, when they see their place in hellfire, when the angels show him in the grave, he says, oh my Lord, don't let the last hour come. Don't let it go. Because he knows that what's going to come after that is going to be worse. 
Brothers and sisters in Islam, Al-Barzakh life means that a person will be either punished or rewarded in a certain way in there and it is the sign for what is going to come next. The Prophet ﷺ indicates or tells us that the dead people visit each other in their grave. Now, the dead people visit each other in their grave. For he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when you bury your dead, then make their kafan, make their shroud nice, and put on beautiful fragrance to them, make them presentable. For the people of the grave yatazawarun, they visit one another. For the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told us about this scenario that it will happen. He said, حَسِّنُوا أَكْفَانَ مَوْتَاكُمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ يَتَبَاهُونَ وَيَتَزَاوَرُونَ فِي قُبُورِهِمْ Make their shroud nice, for in their grave, the dead people visit each other. And in Sahih Muslim, Prophet Sallallahu said, إِذَا كُفِّنَا إِذَا كَفَّنَا أَحَدُكُمْ أَخَاهُ فَلْيُحْسِنْ كَفَّنُهُ If any of you put the shroud on your brother, then make it presentable. Presentable, meaning it's an image for someone else who's going to see it. And also there is a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which is in Bukhari and Muslim, that now I would like to take you on that journey just for a little while to witness what is happening in the life of Al-Barzakh right now. As we are living now, things in the Barzakh that are occurring. Firstly, before I mention this hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu told us that when a person dies, their soul goes to a place, a destination that you and I cannot see or witness in the Barzakh world. The soul goes either to where the believing souls and good souls are gathered, or it goes to where the disbelieving souls and the filthy or the bad souls are gathered. And neither of the two, neither of the two meet each other. They're in bliss, they're in punishment. And when the believing soul goes to the believing place, the believing dead people, their souls run to it. Like a person who is traveling, going overseas, you know how everyone runs to you to ask you about family and friends that they have back at where you came from, right? How are they doing? How's their health? How's... So similarly, in the Barzakh world, the believing souls run to, the, to this new soul that is just fresh dead person and they ask them about their brothers, their sisters, mothers, fathers, children, relatives, friends who they have left behind. What are they asking them about? They are asking them about their faith. They are asking them about their deeds. How are they doing? Are they coming close to Allah? Have they gone astray? What's happening to them? So it means that they miss them. They miss them and they want the best for them. But they don't know what's happening to them. So this freshly dead person says to them what he knows about them. If he tells them good, they become happy. Because they know that if they die now, they're going to meet them. They're going to be with them. Especially, especially family. Yeah, any parents and children, uh, family, brothers and sisters. Because Allah Taala says in the Quran, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَطْنَا بِهِمْ وَاتَّبَعَتْهُمْ ذُرِّيَّتُهُمْ بِإِيمَانٍ أَلْحَطْنَا بِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّتَهُمْ وَمَا أَلَتْنَاهُمْ مِنْ عَمَلِهِمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ And those who believe truly and they died Allah and their offspring believed with them and they died Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reunite them together and will not take any of their rewards away So dead people who die believers will follow their believing family and that's the only concern of the souls of the dead people in the hereafter. As for the bad soul who goes to the bad destination, they also run asking. And if they tell them they're doing good, they actually get relieved. And if they're doing bad, they also get upset. Because they have seen what has happened. But if they go to the believing section, and they ask them, where is the soul? Or what did our relative do? Or our father or brother or whoever it is? And the freshly dead person says, he beat, he beat me. Sometimes he may say, he beat me, meaning he died before me. They become very upset because they know that they didn't come to the believing soul's side. He went to the other side. So they have no idea. But these are examples 
of the things that are happening or will happen in the life of the Barzakh. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from those punishments. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, here are some of the ways in which the punishments can be lessened or forgiven. And in your grave, your light can be increased. Even though your, your deeds are not enough to increase the light or to make your, 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 your journey better. He said there are ways that the dead person can still receive benefit in, here, in their grave and their state will be better. إِذَا مَاتَ ابْنُ آدَمْ انْقَطَعْ عَمَلُهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ When the son of Adam dies, all of their actions are cut off. خلاص, there's nothing that you can do anymore. Except for three things. A righteous child that will supplicate for you. Or an ongoing knowledge or a beneficial knowledge which you left behind that people can benefit from. Or an ongoing charity which you left behind that people can benefit from. Ongoing charity. In a hadith it says that a person who is in their grave, their deeds will be enough to give them as much light as it should be. Suddenly they see as time goes on, nur, more light and provision is given to them. And they say, oh my Lord, where is this light coming to me from? And a reply comes to him saying, لَكَ وَلَدٌ صَالِحٌ يَدْعُ لك. You have a righteous child that is supplicating for you. Now, because this is your work which you left behind. After the Barzakh world, the people stay in there for only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how long the people stay in their graves. Until the day of judgment arrives, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs or commands the angel Israfil to blow into the trumpet for the world to end. That is when the dead are risen and everyone on earth and in the heavens whom Allah wills will die. The Prophet sallallahu said, you'll stay in your graves for 40. The companions who narrate this hadith say, we don't know if he meant 40 years, 40 days, 40 years. Hours, Allahu A'lam, 40 months, but you stay for a while before the resurrection in that state. The body decays, it goes. And if you opened up a grave, you won't see your body being punished. Similar as we said to the example of when you're asleep. However, it is being punished in a world that you cannot understand, or being rewarded in a world that you also cannot understand.